There couldn't be an easier way to grow pineapples than in a glass of water, could there? Well, there is actually. G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and we'll get into that easier way soon. But just a word of warning, pineapple leaves have spikes. Let's get into it. So yeah, you'll be pleased to know that growing a pineapple in a glass of water like this is dead set easy. All you need to do is chop the top off a pineapple, and I'll give a demonstration in a minute of how that's done, and then pop it into a glass where the bottom is just touching the water. And over time, pretty quickly actually, it will start to set roots and it'll grow like nothing. But why would you want to do that when I have an even easier way? And that is cut the top off and bung it straight into where you want it to grow. And that works fine for us. However, we're lucky that our climate is fairly well warm all year round and warm enough for pineapples. So they thrive regardless of the season and they will put down roots and grow. But the thing is, you might be living in a climate where it gets colder winters, and if you do plant a pineapple the way we do it, the really, really easy way, it might not set root because it might not have enough growing time and it may well perish or dry up. So this is a great alternative option because what you can do is grow this on a kitchen bench or in a greenhouse or look, put it anywhere, carport, garage, it doesn't even really need to get much light, just normal room light is fine, it doesn't need direct sunlight. If it gets a little light through a windowsill, even better, but hey, that doesn't matter really. What you can do is you can grow this over even several months, not just a few weeks. We've had this one sitting for about eight weeks on the kitchen bench, and you can see how long the roots are. It just keeps on growing, and it's looking very healthy, for just tap water, isn't it? I mean, it's quite incredible. So that's how hardy pineapples are. So what you can do is you grow that on the bench, you then plant it out in spring or when the temperature's warmed up or at a good time for your region for growing pineapples. Then it already has an established root system and it'll grow a lot easier and take up faster and establish faster once you've planted it into the ground. And then if you do get a rather colder winter or even a harsh and dry summer, or the conditions are just a little tough, it will survive a lot better. So yeah, that's why you would grow a pineapple in a glass instead of bunging it straight into the ground like we typically do. All right, speaking of bunging into the ground, let's give an example of that. But before I do, I just wanted to show you that you don't just have to get pineapples from the top of a pineapple that you buy in store or a pineapple that you've already grown. There are other ways that pineapples do grow, like this. Check this out here. This is what they call a pup and it's formed from one of the old pineapple plants that we harvested a pineapple from. There was a couple that formed. One already grew itself and established into the ground and it's growing quite strong. And this one here, it has been sitting on the edge of the plant itself, completely broken off, still surviving from, I don't know, dew and a bit of rainfall, but nothing else because it hadn't reached the soil yet. And that's the incredible thing. They don't always produce pups, pineapple plants, but when they do, this type of succulent plant has quite a ingenious way of surviving by storing nutrients in the base and then growing really slowly, but it's still looking very healthy. I would say, I'd estimate this is about eight or nine weeks snapped off its parent plant and just been sitting on one of the leaves of the parent plant, not even taking root, just surviving. So when you do find the little pups forming, it's simple as treating it like the head taken off a pineapple and just planting it in, or again, establishing a root system in a glass and then planting it out once it has some roots on it. You can plant them pretty much anywhere and they do tolerate part shade. You can see this is quite a shady spot yet we're getting plenty of fruit from our homegrown pineapples. So they're very versatile and one of 
our favorite plants to grow. Plus, I think they look ornamental. They're a beautiful looking plant. Just don't rub your finger along one of them. All right, we've got a few gaps in our garden here and that's where I'm gonna plant these extra pineapples. First of all, we'll knock the top off this. Army machete comes in handy for this. Put him there, make sure the fingers are out of the road, of course. Good steady aim. Uh, oh gee, that's gonna hit that last one, isn't it? I better move that. All right, yep, good steady aim. And boom, that was probably a little bit too close to the edge there, but that's all right. A little bit of rot there in the pineapple. This will be sweet as that little bit of rot there. That's not gonna hurt anyone, but I guarantee you this will be beautiful to eat. But anyway, I knocked a little bit too much off. We'll probably plant this one here and the one that's got the glass established root system, we'll plant there. And this pup here, we'll put this pup right here and they'll have a nice little grouping of four. One of the downsides of pineapple growing is they are a bit of a sparse type of a plant and you can get weeds coming up around them. You just have to manage that as best you can. Plant this top first. It just needs to be down to the crown. Nothing special. And you know, you don't even really have to water these things in because just normal rainfall, I mean, if you're in a really dry environment, of course, but where we are, normal rainfall will be probably enough to sustain these guys. They're a very drought hardy plant. Press it down. Now this pup, it doesn't have to be too deep for this. Might scrape a few weeds so they don't com compete. Straight in like that. Watch the fingers. I nearly spiked myself again. Yep, that'll be fine there. And last but not least, let's plant this one in. Now it's got a fairly long root section here. So let's take advantage of that and plant that down a little bit deeper. Sort of a bit, a bit of a narrow trench. Munge the soil up a bit so that it seats nicely in there. And then let's plant that like that. And that will give it a really great start, a nice, nice depth to that root ball. That's going to grow perfectly. And that's how you grow a pineapple in a glass. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And remember, pineapple leaves sharp. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now. Okay, can you believe it? I cut my finger. Would have been good if I got it on camera, sort of. Might have been a bit graphic. It's not that bad. Um, bad enough that I needed a couple of band-aids on it because I was bleeding all over the camera. But anyway, see how dangerous it is to garden in the backyard with pineapples? Warning, gardening with pineapples can be hazardous to your health. Cheers. See ya.